Hello, I'm Lena Ashby for Green Dinosaur, and I'm excited to introduce you to the Metro at Compton. We were responsible for the sustainability and energy measures and wanted to produce the most efficient green project possible. Before we begin, this project was a collaboration of an integrated design team of developers, architects, and engineers who worked together for this great project. The owner is Compton Senior Apartments LP, the architect is John Cotton Architects, and the green building and energy consultant was Green Dinosaur. This was a publicly funded project for low income restricted affordable senior apartments. The Metro was designed for both the health of the occupants as well as the health of the planet. Therefore, they targeted the Greenpoint rated system. The building uses less energy and water, which saves money. The metro construction resulted in less building materials winding up in landfills. The metro was built with quality construction for a longer lasting building and less expensive maintenance. In order for your project to achieve Greenpoint rated certification, the project had to meet minimum point thresholds and prerequisites in several categories, including energy efficiency, water conservation, indoor air quality, resource conservation, and community. Let's go into a little more detail about the site location. The Metro at Compton is located at 302 North Tamarind Avenue in Compton, California. This is an urban infill site, meaning that it was a redevelopment site surrounded by existing infrastructure. Your building is close to easily accessible community services that are within one half mile walking distance from your home. Some of these services include churches, restaurants, schools, grocery stores, and clinics. You can access the parking lot from East Arbutus Place and Carson Place. The parking lot is located on the east side of the site. We chose to use light colored concrete paving, which reduces heat island effect. This means that the parking lot reflects heat rather than soaking it up and warming up the surrounding area like an asphalt parking lot would. You are conveniently located near several existing public transportation lines. Both the Metro light rail and Metro bus stops are within a half mile walking distance. The Metro light rail blue line runs from Los Angeles to Long Beach. The Metro bus route 60 runs from Los Angeles to Long Beach as well. The Metro bus route 125 runs from Norwalk to Manhattan Beach. The Metro bus route 127 runs from Compton to Downey. The Metro bus route 128 runs from Cerritos to Compton and back. Now let's get into the construction practices. The builders use engineered lumber that reduces the use of virgin wood. Oriented Strand Board, or OSB, is constructed from post-industrial recycled content and not virgin wood fiber. OSB was used for the wall and subfloor sheathing rather than plywood, which contains virgin wood. The builder and structural engineer employed advanced framing techniques to save wood throughout the project. Some of these techniques included the use of eye joists instead of dimensional lumber and the minimization of cripple studs and headers. Green building projects exercise best management practices called construction indoor air quality management plans. This plan meets the sheet metal and air conditioning National Contractors Association indoor air quality guideline. All subcontractors shall comply with the plan's job site recommendations and subcontractors provide training to their employees to ensure that the procedures are followed. Some of these practices include covering the ductwork to prevent construction dust from entering the air conditioning system, keeping the job site clean, using low emitting products, and protecting equipment and appliances before they're installed. For better indoor air quality and less allergens, we used low emitting adhesive sealants, paints and coatings throughout the project. This means that the products have low volatile organic compounds or low VOCs that meet the South Coast Air Quality Management District's standards 1103 and 1168. Prior to construction, your general contractor developed a debris recovery plan that evaluated potential waste streams and analyzed local waste and recycling haulers. Construction waste and recycling was monitored throughout construction. During construction, the Metro at Compton diverted 100% of the concrete and asphalt, as well as over 65% of the remaining materials from a landfill. Did you know that your building's exterior is made from durable and non-combustible stucco and fiber cement siding? Your CRRC certified cool roof reflects sunlight 
and keeps the space below cooler. The roof also has an extended product and workmanship warranty for increased durability. Have you noticed the beautiful landscape around your house? The new courtyard has more than 8,260 square feet of space for you to enjoy between the community garden on the south side and the courtyard on the east side of the lot. The community garden is a place for all of your edible plants. This photo is taken shortly before the garden is complete. Each tenant has room available for your own gardening. Hope you enjoy some homegrown fruits and veggies soon. To help reduce water evaporation, the landscape has over three inches of mulch to protect the soil in the planting beds. The landscape includes drought tolerant plants that use less water. To prevent overwatering, the plants were hydrozoned, meaning that they were grouped by their watering needs. Gray water from the laundry machines is recycled on site and used to irrigate the plants. The Metro at Compton is equipped with advanced irrigation controls that adjust watering based on the weather. Let's explore the community areas. You have many community resources available. The Metro at Compton features an exercise room, a community room, a common laundry room, computer lab, library, mail room, public restrooms, and on-site administrative offices. These photos were taken shortly before the community areas were finished, so go walk over and check out the new interior design. The community room features an entertainment area as well as a full kitchen. On the first floor, there's a library for your quiet enjoyment, where you can indulge in your favorite book, go on an adventure, or learn a new subject. For the more tech-savvy patrons, there's a computer room for quiet, wireless enjoyment. For your convenience, there's an exercise room on the first floor. There's a common laundry room on the first floor, equipped with Energy Star laundry machines that use less water and power. The rooftop is equipped with solar panels that provide electricity for the whole building. We consider renewables to be the cherry on top. We make the building as efficient as possible and reduce energy usage before we offset it. Solar panels have a much bigger impact when you put them on a Prius versus a Hummer. Therefore, we make a high performance building and then add solar panels and solar thermal. The rooftop is also equipped with solar thermal panels that preheat hot water, thus reducing the use of natural gas. The solar thermal system preheats hot water to two energy efficient boilers. The benefit of having two boilers is that one smaller boiler will run full time, while the other one will only turn on when needed. Then you don't have one huge boiler working all the time and soaking up lots of natural gas. The roof is also equipped with high efficiency heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC units that use less energy. They also utilize more environmentally preferable R410A refrigerants that reduce their climate change impact. The HVAC units are sized specifically for each unit to meet your exact heating and cooling needs. Now let's go into the features of your personal space. The carpet contains over 25% recycled content and is CRI Green Label Plus certified as a low emitting product. The hard flooring is also floor score certified as a low emitting product. The Metro provides Energy Star appliances that use less water and energy in each unit. California is in a drought. It's very important to save water. Therefore, your unit has low flow fixtures. The bathroom faucets have a flow rate of half a gallon per minute, and the kitchen faucets have a flow rate of 1.5 gallons per minute. Your bathroom is equipped with a low flow water sense toilet that uses 1.28 gallons per flush. You also have a low flow shower head that provides 1.56 gallons per minute. Formaldehyde is naturally occurring in wood at low levels, but is often added as a binding resin in composite wood used for cabinetry. Since formaldehyde is also a carcinogen, California limits the allowed levels of formaldehyde in wood products. Your cabinetry meets the California Air Resource Board Phase 2 standards for reduced formaldehyde. For better ventilation and indoor air quality, your bathroom exhaust meets ASHRAE 62.2 ventilation standard. Please don't be afraid of that little green light in the darkness. It just tells you that it's on. Simple universal design and adaptive design are those elements that are user-friendly to all occupants. These elements make it more likely for residents to have flexibility and usability in their homes for today's uses. 
This also allows functionality for remaining in their homes as they age, if they become temporarily or permanently disabled, or if they wish to have other elderly relatives join their household. The entire apartment is equipped with levered handles. From your faucets to your door handles, everything should be easy to use. Your electric stove has controls in the front, so you don't have to reach over anything to adjust it. The cabinetry is a great example of this flexibility because it's designed to be removable for easy access with a wheelchair. The bathroom is also designed to meet the requirements for wheelchair access. I'm Lena Ashby for Green Dinosaur. I hope you enjoyed our presentation on the Metro at Compton and enjoy your new home.